Hey guys, a lot of you have been asking how to make a living as a music producer and DJ and today I'd like to answer this question. So first of all, it's really hard and not easy. I've been doing it now, I think six years full time and it's always a struggle but it's also a lot of fun. I basically started out really early on with DJing and that was how I've made my first money. Being able to afford my first studio equipment and starting producing right at the end of high school. I didn't go there a whole lot and spent most of the time in my bedroom making music. By the way, this is my old high school. They tried to kick me out three times but that's a whole nother story. I'm passing every day by here to get to my studio and it reminds me of times that I didn't like that much. I somehow managed to graduate, went to university and all over the same thing again. I didn't go a whole lot and concentrated on making music. I had my first releases on Beatport, decided to drop out of college, which was really naive at that time, moved to Berlin and got into contact with a lot of labels and other music producers. At that time I didn't make any money with music production, only a little bit with DJing that was just enough to pay the rent. At that point I didn't have a nice studio like this, I just had a laptop, speakers in the living room in Berlin and I was already living there with Vanessa and yeah it was a bit tricky to make music and live in the same room. But thanks to living in Berlin I made it possible to make a living out of being a music producer. I got into contact with the right people, other producers and the first bigger labels. This wasn't still really enough to make a living. I was still DJing quite a lot and then the first people approached me to do productions for them. This were mostly other DJs that couldn't produce and wanted to release something to get gigs. So I helped them out, I did co and ghost productions for quite some time. I kind of got stuck doing that because it was a lot of money, good money and not that much work. I also started doing stuff for advertisement ringtones. These were all methods to get a steady or kind of steady income. But it's still tough, you're self-employed, one month you make money, one month you don't make money. So it's always a challenge. Nine months ago I stopped doing all of that to focus and concentrate onto my own musical project and ever since I'm doing a lot less money, I'm working a lot more and it's the toughest time probably but it's still the time that I'm enjoying the most. I'm really doing what I want to do, I'm doing the music that I like and it's really my own. You cannot imagine how bad it feels to produce a track for someone else and he's really achieving with that all you ever wanted. I will let you know how you can become a full-time DJ and producer, but first I need to get some work done. This track is going to be so good, can't wait to share it with you. But now back to topic. So during the time where you're learning to make music, it's almost impossible to make money with it. You can try and see if you can get any DJ gigs, but without any releases, it's a lot harder nowadays. So your only option is to do something else to make money or do it like me and learn all of the production things early on during school and university. But don't do it like me and don't risk both of them. And then slowly when you get better you can release your first tracks but this will still not make you any money. I had to release at least 20 tracks to make my first 200 euros. Later you can start approaching bigger labels. You should always have a couple of tracks ready and finished to send out. I have more than 200 to 250 tracks on my hard drive that are completely finished and never got released. That's just the way it is but at least I get to use them now for these videos. It's also always good to collaborate with bigger DJs. You can get their support or do a track with them together. This will get you more exposure. As soon as you've proved yourself with a couple of big releases, you either have a really big hit and get instantly gigs, or you just quit or you do it as I did. You start producing for other people, which will make you more money than releasing your own stuff. 
still all of it was super super risky it could also end for me each and every day i'm now on my way back to the studio i forgot something i need this usb stick for mastering okay it's raining outside so let me continue the vlog in here you need to be eager for a really long time and still at the end it might just not work out. There is really no predefined way to become a music producer or a DJ. It's not like becoming a doctor, you go to school, university and then you become a doctor. If you follow these steps you will succeed and get where you want to go. As a DJ and producer there's just no such thing, you have to find your own way. That's also what I'm trying and here on this channel you have the opportunity to watch my approach on a day-to-day -day basis. Okay, but now let's go. And I almost forgot the most important thing. The most important thing is of course support. Without it you're pretty much screwed. You need family and friends that help and support your music. the biggest support from my parents and of course from Vanessa she has to deal with me on a day-to-day -day basis so let's get her a little something unfortunately the flower store is already closed I always forget that other people do not work until seven or eight now I think the second best thing to get her is chocolate I got her some chocolate and of course I went to the other supermarket to get her some flowers I couldn't really decide which ones to choose so I just got a bunch Hello. Hi. Yeah. Yeah. It's rising, rising. And of course some chocolate. 